What is up, boys? We are back here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. This time around, we have Battles of Legend of Monsters Revenge. This came out last year. Actually, I guess kind of in line, because we're getting a new Battles of Legend in about three months, maybe less. Anyways, I thought I'd open this up and see if we can pull some banger-ass quarter-century rares, because there's some expensive quarter-century rares in here. They haven't been uh, following the market yeah, man. I mean, is IP still the most expensive? Actually, maybe I haven't been following the market too close. Anyways, uh, we are in, boys. Let's see what we can do. I think every single pack has five. Yeah, five cards. And then one secret rare per pack. And uh, the rest are all traders. Okay, so let's see what we can do. We got Dunal Dunal, the Noble Arms of Light. Okay, Mother Spider Splitter. And we're starting it here with a Courageous Crimson. Uh, Chevalier Baradamonte. Really long name, but actually a pretty decent card. So, I mean, I'll take it, actually. I don't think she was a, a quarter century rare. Which is kind of unfortunate, I, I feel at least, because... I mean, it's a waifu, first of all, so it'll probably it would have probably done good in the market, but uh, it also looks pretty nice. Dark Arm Dragon, we can actually get this as a QCR. Terraforming, oh, Seeker Rare, that is awesome, actually. Sakatima, and then Viper's Grudge. So, I'm not the biggest fan of this particular Battle of the Legend, because uh, I think ever since Brothers of Legend, the quality of the imports kind of went downhill. Hey, Zeus, let's go. This, is, this ain't bad. This ain't, this ain't the worst pull. Actually, that's a pretty decent QCR as well. So, uh, yeah, Terraforming is also a QCR, I believe. But, yeah, no, definitely is. Terraforming, Super Glue, and Dark Hole, or the Dankest Hole, are all QCRs. So we got a Teller Knight, Tolmius, and a Bastille Ball Drake. Actually, kind of uh, seek maybe it's a secret gem in this set because it's not ter doing terrible on the market and it's only been a year. Protection of the elements, I will take that actually. That might also be another hidden gem. And look at that elemental hero, flame wingman, infernal rage should have been a QCR. If this was a QCR. I think the set, I would have rated the set a little bit higher, but it, I mean, I guess it is what it is. It's, it is a better, uh, it is a better QCR pick in my opinion, than Neo's, uh, what's his name? Armed Neo's, but, uh, what do I know? Final Cross, Rose Shaman, and then we got Junk Archer. Okay, I see you. Was that an import though? I feel like maybe it wasn't. Okay, so... Yeah, it's just the the choices they they've been making with Battle of Legend sets. It's, ironically enough, ever since Brothers of Legend, they they weren't the wisest inclusions, and the market has shown. I mean, this this set has QCRs, and it's still not doing uh, crazy well on the market. You know, Battlefield Tragedy. Okay, Macro Cosmos. And oh, that's awesome! Back to back and dimensional fissure. So, I mean, the, the dimension fissure is a pretty decent pull from what I've seen. People have been trying to buy it out. We got sprite smashes, mother spider splinter, and then dark magician, the knight of dragon magic. That is awesome, actually. So, they they're running out of things for dark magician to be writing, which is concerning what is dark magician going to be writing next sprite carrot to tell the truth i kind of forgot the sprites were in here because uh that wasn't really a big focus when people were opening up this set i think the sprite uh sprite craze ran out before the set hit the scene a sage of wisdom himmel isn't that a sky strike yeah sky striker card draco berserker of the tenny though that, that card is badass looking i wonder if now that baronicus is banned uh source old decks will be running that boy more often than not all right so last one on this side it's uh, 
I feel like this is going to be an Assault Synchron. Okay, okay, I see. Usually, on the right side, I see Assault Synchron Secret Rare. Or, is that his name? It's like a little bird boy that is a Synchron. Uh, Sprite Smashers, Rose Shaman, Dinkus Hole. I pulled two QCRs, and they were both the Dinkus Hole. So, uh, if we do pull a QCR, hope, please not a Dinkus Hole. Super Poly would be nice. Like, if I do get a spell, Super Poly would be my uh, my choice, my preference. But, uh, I mean, we'll see. Nightmare, Corruptor, e Ebly. I think that card, before the reprint, was like a 20-ish dollar card. So, I mean, in terms of of Konami doing well with the reprints, in that case, they did a pretty well job. Punk, Yukio Punk, Golden Rule, actually, is a pretty... Pretty decent inclusion in here as well. If you guys haven't bought this out, and you, I mean you're a Crystal Beast player, and you haven't you know picked it up, uh, maybe maybe now is the time because the market, from what I've seen, is uh, it's eyeing it. It's it's disappearing, guys. It's disappearing. Volcanic Shell, Rose Shaman, X Tox Hydra. That's the cover card for show. That this is like one of my favorite newer cards as well. It just kind of sucks because the uh, the way they they balanced it, I guess, if you will, it made it a terrible card. <laughs> so, like, you can't use Super Pony, right? Two plus monsters, you control special summon from the extra deck. So you could, but it's kind of useless. If it was, if they didn't have that restriction where it was monsters you control, it would have been such a good card. Um, and I don't even think it would have been broken, to be honest. I mean, we already have Garura. And uh, Garura basically does the same thing, right? So we got uh, Deodorant, the Ooze Jai. I'm just going to say Deodorant. I have no idea how you pronounce that, man. Photon Vanisher. Okay, yeah, there was a Photon card that was in, uh, imported in here. Maybe that's why they uh, printed it. No Punk. When we got a Danger Nessie. That might have been the only Danger card in this set, uh, which is kind of interesting. But it also, I think, is a QCR so maybe that's why they did it. But uh, I don't know, man. I, I, if it took the place of Infernal Rage, then we got beef. All right, we got a Chevalier Baradamonte. Again, it's a pretty decent card, man. I mean, a lot of decks in general. I mean, let's take a step back. Equipped base decks kind of suck on average, right? Because you, you're kind of restricted in a sense with um you're you're shoehorned and you're you're boxed in into the gimmick right and and that kind of sucks so it is what it is a link decoder forest of the lost flowers rgb rainbow illusion this was in here okay yeah i remember this card the the, the name of this card is pretty darn funny also i think people were trying to make this like do something with this but uh I don't know if they succeeded because it's not that good of a card. All right, three more packs in this box, and then we can move on to the second box here. Ghost Fusion, Praying Mantis, Rocket, Rocket Coder. Oh, yeah, that's true. So I think there were like five imports in particular that were kind of mashups of Protag um, monsters. East, uh, maybe not Ace necessarily, but uh, definitely monsters. And uh, that's that was a really cool gimmick, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the cards didn't, not all the cards landed, you know? Oh, shit, okay, that was anticlimactic. I wasn't expecting a QCR from the last pack, to be honest. I didn't know that was a thing. Mm, Teller Knight, Tol Myas. I don't think this is a particular, particularly expensive but at least, I mean, to me, it's a new one, so I will take it. Um, it's kind of damaged, though. Yeah, it's pretty, like, on the bottom left there, and then right over here. So, damn. I really was not expecting that. Teller Knight Tom Tomias. Okay, okay. What does he do? Two plus level four monsters. Once per chain, quick effect, you can detach three materials. From this card, special summon from your extra deck, one exceeds monster that is one rank 
higher than this card except a number monster by using this face up this face up card is uh you control his material this is treated as an exceed summon you can detach seven materials from this card seven materials from this card skip your opponent's next turn once per turn during the end phase you can detach one uh seller knight card from your extra deck so attach my bad right once per turn during the end phase you can attach one stellar knight from your extra deck to this card as material that is, that is crazy but um not terribly good in my opinion the the middle effect where it's straight up skipped your opponent's turn is interesting like i'm not saying that's like a a completely terrible uh card but uh, is, is it playable, right? How easy is it to actually achieve that effect? I don't know. I'll defer it to the uh, the Yugi experts out there because I don't play Stellar Knights or really any Xyz based deck, to be honest. Anyway, second box. Let's go. We are in, boys. Let's see if we can pull another QCR. Uh, Sprite Smashers, Mother Spider Splitter, and then we got uh, Shadows Light. Okay. The, this and, um, man, what, what is it called? It's a similar card, similar effect. They're both pretty decent. And people have not been, uh, I guess because right now it's like a fire meta still, kind of. People haven't really been experimenting too much with it. Synchro Zone, though, this has some hype behind it in the market. So I think it's just like a very good generic... Oh, we, we also have the other tell, Teller Knight, or the same Teller Knight over here. It's kind of funny. There we go. The Brothers. But, uh, yeah, Synchro Zone, I think, is just a really good generic uh, Synchro uh, card. Terraforming, hell yeah. Did we pull Terraforming on the other box in the same slot, too? Huh. All right. Uh, we got Avatar of Malice. A lot of uh, cool-looking reptiles in the sets then we got yukio punk amazing dragon and uh promotion over there in the back i think promotion is like a uh, rock warrior support if i'm not mistaken or sprite smashers rose shaman do that's what it is duality uh they have like these two cards shadow shadows light and duality are like secretly very very good but like right now since it's it's kind of ironic that the the cards come out right that support with two of the most supported arc um not archetypes but um attributes light and dark and then it go the the meta shifts to fire it's kind of funny sky striker mobilize engage actually not a bad pull uh because a lot of sky striker stuff has been uh people are eyeing it for sure so that's a decent pull. It's actually one of the more expensive QCRs now that I remember. It's like 200 unless it went down. Draco, Berserker of the Tenny, Berserky Boy himself, and Puppet Rook. So yeah, Warrior. Oh, no, it's Warrior Earth. Warrior Earth. What did I say? Rock? Did I say Rock Warrior? That doesn't even make sense. Anyways, so Volcanic Shell, Rose Shaman. Medolce Queen of the Terum Sue. Those Medo is that the only Medolce in here as well? Because if it is, man, that was kind of a weird. Uh... Also, isn't it a QCR? Man, every everything got a QCR except my boy Flame Wingman. Final Cross, a Deodorant, the Ooze Giant, Additional Mirror Level Seven. What is this? Uh, what Additional Mirror Level Seven? It's too long, man. It's too long. I. I... Am I just lazy, or is it just, like... Because I don't want to read, like, five paragraphs for each card I pull, man. Uh, what do we got here? Assault Synchron. Not the last pack, so breaking all, all sorts of norms here. I, I like it. I dig it. It's just... Uh, I think this is the, the, the best retrain... Not retrain, but, like, new import that we got that had that stick where they're merging uh two cards from pro tags essentially um because i mean right not rainbow neos but uh, uh what do i always call him that what's his name uh assault uh, not assault dark arm armed neos is a cool looking card and it i mean it's a pretty decent it has a pretty decent effect it's just not that good like it, it's very situational right for example, I mean, speaking of my boy over here, 
okay, so it's situational. Let's say you go first. The card is useless. Let's say you go second. Well, now you're going second. And you have to wait till turn three to even activate the effect, depending on how you summon it. Because if you use Rainbow Rainbow Fusion, then you can't special summon monsters for the remainder of that turn. And that's usually, I mean, that's the easiest way to get them out, right? Uh, let's see, what else, how else can you get them out besides having the monsters on the field? Because it's a pretty, if it was generic, where it was like uh, Rain, uh, Neos plus a, a dragon type monster, that would have been a lot better because you can just include him and Rainbow Neos in the same deck and Rainbow Dragon would have fulfilled the condition for both cases and it would have been a lot better. But unfortunately, you have to include a brick in the form of Arm Neos, or just uh, not Arm Neos, my bad, Arm Dragon. And it, it, it doesn't have a restriction on which Arm Dragon, so that is the good part. You could technically try to make it uh, with uh, Dark Arm Dragon, which is probably the better option because you can actually get around using it in some hero decks. It's still it's still not that good though. Anyways, Dark Cole, I man, I wasted so much time explaining why that card is trash. That is crazy. And it's you know, a lot I'm sure there's some hero players out there that would disagree with me, but there's just better hero cards. And it's not even a hero card, too. That's another uh terrible thing. Why is it not a hero card? It should have been elemental hero armed Neos, but it's not, so uh, that's another con right there. Anyways, so let's see. We got like six packs left. What do we got here? Protection of the elements would have also been a cool uh, QCR. We got another uh, Tol. How do, you pro how do you pronounce it? Tol Tolmias. I think it is Tolmias. Damn. Okay. Now I'm kind of curious how much it is. I mean, it can't be more than a hundred bucks for sure. Probably not even more than fifty. Sprite carrots is. Do we got something? No, we don't. Mother Spider Splitter. A lot of these cards are just really shiny. Terraforming. I will take that, actually. Terraforming doesn't see a lot of reprints. I mean, neither does Dark Hole, actually. Especially in, like, the very high rarities, like QCR. Uh, Celia. Final Cross. Welcome. Lambert. Welcome to the jungle, for sure. This card, actually. I don't remember pulling that many... Yeah, I don't remember pulling that many. That's crazy. Okay, so what do we got? Three packs, four packs. I guess technically, since we pulled the QCR in the last pack, there's still potential. So we'll see. Performer Pell, Odd Eyes, Butler, Ghost, Seeper, Synchro, Zone. Hell yeah. Now, oh, Ten Pie Dragons. Isn't that it? Okay, that's why. I was, I was just going to say, like, are there any Synchro decks that actually uh doing anything but yeah probably those guys thunder discharge danger nessie Ooh. okay vampire Vi viper's grudge not vampire's grudge and uh promotion all right two more packs the the other thing they got they should have done is the, the qcr should have probably been a little bit easier to get from what i understand the qcrs are about three per case so uh, if you open up 12 boxes, three of those have a potential of getting QCR. So th I think that's way too low. Should have been about five, I feel. Yukio Punk, uh, Charcuzia, Meth Tech, and No Punk Foxy Tune. Okay, not, not the worst way to end it, actually. It's like a five-buck card. All right, guys, we did pull a QCR that I don't know the value of. So uh, Tyler Knight, Tolmias. I mean, uh, it doesn't even look cool. It's kind of hard to tell because it's an XC, so I kind of have to look at the other guy here. Uh, I have no idea what he is. Is he a, a, a unicorn dude? or It's kind of hard to tell. Anyways, catch you guys in the next one.